first day of the first 48 hour uh, strike. How's it going? What kind of reports are you getting from, from picket lines across the country? Um, it's, been a, uh, it's been a really good turnout today. We're really grateful to all the doctors um, and the members of the public that have supported us um, despite the uh, not so helpful weather. Um, actually the turnouts and all the picket lines as you've seen probably on, uh, on social media have been amazing. Um, but doctors are really disappointed that it's come to this it's taken it, we're on the third day of action now um, with more action tomorrow doctors up and down this country had hoped that the government would listen to them rather than trying to force a contract on them in the way it has and obviously two more 48 hours uh, strikes plan um, if the gov government doesn't back down after that what next it's not really a question of backing down. I mean, it's a question of actually entering into meaningful negotiations with, um, with the medical profession. What we want to see, and what we've always wanted to see, is a negotiated settlement. What we'd ultimately like to do is, um, uh, is to try and find a solution to this problem that is for this generation and for the next. And unfortunately, the government refuses to do that. It refuses to enter into a proper dialogue with us and try and find solutions to the future problems of the NHS. Okay, and so if the government refuses to come back to the table, refuses to negotiate, presses ahead with the threatened imposition, where do you go after that? Well, we really hope that it doesn't come to that. Um, we've currently got uh, a judicial review um, of the prospect of imposition. We have further action planned. What we have. What we do hope is the government does come to its senses. What we really need now is um, the Prime Minister to step in and actually say that this is a ridiculous situation we find ourselves in. We've got uh, a government you know, in crisis, effectively, in the health service. We've got budgets that are, uh, you know, that are massively over... Are going getting worse because of a crisis of morale um, and people have been identifying that the crisis of morale could be the biggest danger to the NHS going forward. What we need is serious leadership now. We need the Prime Minister to step in and try and resolve the situation. And public support is still there, isn't it? Um, we've been really lucky that actually the, the public do support the medical profession and support junior doctors. They know that the first doctor you see in the A&E department is a junior doctor, the doctors that look after them at nights and weekends is a junior doctor. They absolutely know that the Secretary of State is completely uh, mischaracterising and is, is, um, you know, is insulting junior doctors when he, when he talks about seven day services because we provide seven day services and so we're really grateful for the support of the public.